Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? The Nintendo Switch was showcased over the last few days, and during the showcase of a trailer on Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers, there was a flash, literally one second, of Ryu doing a Hadoken in first person view, looking very much like the view one would only get from VR. It happens at 2 minutes and 8 seconds into the video, and you can check it out in the link below, but here is what it looked like. Nobody knows why it was inserted into this trailer, as it doesn't seem like it would be a mode available in this game. Nintendo Switch does not even have VR, so it won't make much sense for this to be part of this port anyways. My best guess is, it's a tease for an upcoming feature in a new game. Or that someone at Capcom just really wanted to mess with our heads. Other than that, it seems like the game will be bringing a few new features such as the addition of Evo Ryu and Violent Ken. Two people can also utilize the Switch's Joy-Con controllers to challenge the CPU at the same time. That actually sounds like a pretty fun feature for the casual fan, but I wonder how the hardcore fan, which is the majority of the fan base, will respond to this. The release date and pricing will be announced at a later date, but it has been rumored that it will hover around $40 USD. A little hefty for a remake in my opinion, but I'll leave that for the market to decide. But out of all the Street Fighter games they could have re-released for the Switch, why an old 2D one? I'm pretty sure the Switch can handle Street Fighter 4 or 5, as it's not like they're super heavy on graphics. The best part of Street Fighter on the Switch is the ease of being able to whip out the game anywhere and play it with a friend with the two Joy-Cons, or even have two Nintendo Switch and have each play it on their own console against each other. The Switch is looking very exciting so far with its emphasis on playing games with friends, and I can't wait to see more games showcased with creative usage of its hardware. So, what do you think of this one second tease of what could possibly be Street Fighter in VR? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And for more about the latest things people are talking about in Japan, make sure to subscribe so you can get your daily fix of Japan right in your inbox. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.